Alchemy. It is the method of deconstructing and recreating matter by understanding its inherent laws and its place in nature. The power to freely transform matter may appear as a miracle to those unfamiliar with the practice. But even the seemingly almighty power of alchemy must abide by one absolute law. That law is equivalent exchange. In order to gain something, an equivalent price must be paid. Numerous alchemists neglected or intentionally broke this law many times in the past. And in every instance, it invariably led to tragedy. Five thousand years ago, there existed a civilization in the East which flourished through the power of alchemy. The king utilized alchemy to build giant cities, cultivate the land, and protect the citizens from invaders. People both revered and feared the miracles performed by their king. But then, one day, tragedy befell them. The king committed a forbidden act. And as a consequence, a terrible catastrophe struck the land. The civilization is said to have perished in a single night. And then, three years ago, there lived two brothers who were extremely talented in alchemy, despite their youth. To bring their deceased mother back to life, the boys made an attempt at the most forbidden act in alchemy. Human transmutation. An act that cost the older brother his left leg and the younger his entire body. On impulse, the older transmuted the younger soul and bound it to a suit of armor, sacrificing his right arm. Edward Elric, the elder brother outfitted with mechanical limbs called Automail. Alphonse Elric. The younger brother whose soul occupies the giant suit of armor. Even now, the brothers are said to be on a continuing journey in search of the legendary Philosopher's Stone. The only item that may help them regain their bodies and bring back everything they lost. Looks like we're finally here, the desert city of Lior. 
The folks around here seem a little different from the people in other towns. So, about those miracles that are being performed by their prophet. Right. Based on the rumors I've heard, all that stuff is just alchemy. But even then, being able to resurrect the dead seems a little far-fetched. You figure it's got something to do with the Philosopher's Stone? Well, that's what we came all the way here to find out, isn't it? For starters, we should try meeting up with this so-called prophet. What is going on, everybody? And welcome to Full Metal Alchemist 2, The Curse of the Crimson Elixir. Uh, yeah, so I am a really big fan of Full Metal Alchemist, and I wanted to play this game, and, uh, because I've never actually played it. Well, I mean, I have, but I haven't. It don't, doesn't make a lot of sense, but I wanted to play it. I, I, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just my stomach's growling. Let's grab a bite to eat here. Good point. Um, but I haven't played far into this game. So I wanted to I wanted to play play it as a series for you guys. So uh I hope you enjoy. Um if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video as well. It takes two seconds, it's free, and it helps your boy out a ton. Thank you so much. Now, uh into today's video. Children of God who live upon this land, pray in faith that ye may be saved. Hmm? As sun lights the day, so does Leto illuminate thy path and drown out the shadows of suffering. Is this some kind of religious broadcast? I am the sun god's commissary. God's commissary? If this was supposed to be a comedy show, no one's laughing. Who the heck is that? Why, well, that's Father Cornello. Who's that? You're kidding me! You've never heard of the great prophet Cornello? He performs miracles. I've never seen anything like it before. It's God's work for sure. Father Cornello the Prophet, huh? So, mister, how can I get an audience with this guy? He's always in the temple. Just head straight down this street and you're there. The Temple of the Sun God. Well, no use sitting around with that information. Al, you ready to split? Uh-huh. Up and at him. Uh-oh. Oops. Uh, now you've done it, buddy! Now what do you expect wearing a tin suit like that? Don't bust a lung, Grandpa. We can fix it. It's in a thousand pieces! Okay, here goes. Whoa! Huh? What? Is that good enough for you? Well, I'll be damned. It's really a land of prophets. Your buddy can work miracles like Cornello. Oh, it's nothing like that. It's... We're the Elric brothers. Not to brag or anything, but we're pretty well known. <laughs> Elric, huh? Oh, the Elric brothers. Oh, I've heard of you guys before. The older brother is the state alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist, Edward Elric. So you're the master alchemist, and now I get why you're called Full Metal. It's because of this suit of armor. Huh? You mean that little shorty? Who are you calling a bean sprout midget? I'm Alphonse Elric, the younger brother. And I am the Full Metal Alchemist, Edward Elric. Uh, so sorry. 
Uneducated, no good, run. Come on, Al. Let's get out to the temple. Yeah. Sorry for the ruckus. Bye. <sighs> State Alchemist, Edward Elric. Okay, uh, camera controls. This is teaching us how to play. Okay, right analog stick, move camera. Okay, reset camera. Use the right analog to examine your surroundings. Press L1 to... Okay. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with him. Uh... He is drunk by the looks of it. Sir, what's <clears throat> wrong? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Father Cornello is beautiful, you know. He made his fountains water in the wine. Mmm. Water in the wine, huh? Just another one of his miracles, I presume. Yeah. Yep. You want some too? <laughs> <laughs> We're your host for now, cause you're not old enough. <laughs> oh my God! Listen to this dude. You just have to wait till you're of age. But I give you what's inside here for now. Uh oh, what is it? Treasure chest and items. Near treasure chest. Okay. 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 Elixir. Okay. So I guess we gotta go this way. So straight down this street to the temple, and we'll be shaking hands with the prophet Cornello. Okay. Hey, it looks like there's some sort of gathering up ahead. Are they waiting for us? Uh oh. Uh oh. You, you're the state alchemist Edward Elric, aren't you? E so what if I am? Yes. I, <laughs> I don't do autographs. Yeah. Visiting buddy. Cornello won't be possible, I'm afraid. Why not? For your souls are destined to depart for the afterlife. Right here and now. Ooh, I'm scared. Is that a fancy way of telling us you're about to kick our asses? <laughs> uh, the will of Lido. Nothing personal. Nothing personal. Okay. I'd say your god's got some aggressive tendencies, but if it's a fight you want, I'm happy to oblige. Let's go, Ed. W wait, Ed. If beating up psycho cultists is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Come on, Al. Let's do it. <laughs> So this is basically like the freak ow What a nerd Can I jump? Can I do like a jump attack? Oh my god, there's more of them. Okay, there's no more this way. All right, cool. Oh crap. Been hit a couple times, bro. Behind you out. Eh. What? What? Gain. Oh, okay. And now I earn experience points, XP, by defeating their enemies when a certain amount of XP is achieved. They gain a level. Bonus points are earned when Ed gains a level. Select bonus points from the main menu to distribute points, bonus points to Ed or Al and enhance their attributes. Oh, okay, cool. So we need to... Eh. Oh, nice, dude. Jeez, what do they teach these guys at church anyway? Let's head for the temple. Yeah, Al, let's go, bro. Ooh, nice! 
Nice. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to start using freaking L1 more. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Kill us. Let's go. I don't know about you, Al, but I think these guys have been out in the desert way too long. <laughs> Aw. Yeah, that's what we were doing. Okay. Yeah, we was using his freaking blade from his auto mail. I wonder. Hold on. I'm going to try something. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Well, that sucks. I like that combo, though. No, sir. Brother, look at what those guys were carrying. What is that? Briefcase? You obtained a lead bangle. Bangle. What? Dude, that's awesome! Hello? That's freaking cool! Okay, we got some elixir. Nice. Ooh. Oh my god, there's a lot of them! Hello? Ow. That's not that's not very nice, Mr. Mr. Mans. It's not very nice at all. They're stronger than they look. Don't fall back. Call for more reinforcements. Ah, uh, come on already. I'll give you guys points for tenacity, but your fighting skills suck. <laughs> Oh. What a time to run into Rose. Wow. How could you all gang up on them? You've turned into a mob. Yeah, tell him, Rose. Watch out, miss. You shouldn't get so close. Repent before Lido punishes you all for your sins. Uh, bad timing. We'll let these blackguards go for now. Retreat! Wait, where are you going? We're not through here. Yeah, you better run. Don't you have even one word of apology to these gentlemen? Wait, I said. Well, it's okay. Thank you. We're all right. Well. Some welcome wagon you guys have. All they were given out were free trips to the hospital. They were obviously worshippers of Lita. They did ask if you were a state alchemist. Could that be why they ganged up on us? Oh, here. Sorry. What do they have against state alchemists? Is it in the teachings of Leto to pick fights with strangers? You mean they jumped you? Th that can't be. Believe it, sister. So is the will of Leto, they said. Easily riled God, huh? That's impossible. Our prophet, Father Cornello, couldn't possibly allow it. <laughs> they may have been ordered by your so-called prophet, for all I know. Yeah. Yeah, from the way they were talking, that's what it sounded like. Please, stop with this nonsense. Father Cornello is a venerable man who taught us, the unlearned, of God's ways. Violence is not in Leto's teachings. But it could be the truth, though. He might as well preach to a brick wall. We're not believers. In that case, why don't you come to our gathering? It's at the temple up ahead. Then you should be able to see how truly wonderful Father Cornello and the teachings of Leto really are. And will Father Cornello be at this gathering? Of course. Huh. In that case, maybe I'll take your invitation and check it out. That's wonderful. Oh, uh, my name is Rose. I'm Alphonse Elric. Freaking look at Ed, bro. <laughs> 
both have such beautiful names. Please, come this way. I'll take you to the temple. Alright. Let's go, dude. Wow, what a turnout. So they're all believers in Lido, huh? That's right. This alone is a testament to the greatness of Father Cornello. How wonderful it is to worship God and live every day with gratitude and hope. If you show him you're faithful, I bet he could make you taller. Oh. What did you say? Oh, wow. There, there. She didn't mean any harm. <laughs> oh, there he is. Father Cornello is about to perform his miracles. Children of God who live upon this land, pray in faith that ye may be saved. I am thy father and the sun god's commissary. Oh, I get it. So I guess those are the miracles. What do you think? Well, it looks pretty obvious. He's using alchemy. It's just like you said. Exactly. But still, something's wrong. So, how are you liking your first miracle gathering? <laughs> Isn't Father Cornello amazing? Well, he's an amazing performer, I'll give him that. But those aren't miracles. He's swindling you. But he's ignoring the laws. Yeah, that's what's bugging me. For that holy bastard to be using that kind of alchemy. I'm telling you, it isn't alchemy. Why won't either of you believe that we're seeing true miracles? Ooh. Brother, could it be? Philosopher Stone. Yup. Jackpot. Uh, excuse me? You know what, Rose? I'm really interested in this religion now. And I'd sure like to meet the prophet in person. Could you be kind enough to guide us to where he is, please? Oh, so I finally converted you? Yes, of course. I will gladly take you to him. Father Cornello is doing a favor for Rose. He's a very busy man. You should consider yourselves lucky. We appreciate it. I promise it won't take long. Yes, I know. It will all be over in a second. Just like this. Oh, bruh. Well, that's it. Alphonse is dead. Jesus. <gasps> what the? <laughs> You're empty. No one inside? I, I, I don't understand. Oof. This is my punishment for setting foot on holy ground. We made a mistake, and we're paying for it. Both of us are. Edward, too? Oh, you freak! Kill them! Both of them. Hey, yo. Well, if the cat ain't finally out of the bag, let's get him out. <laughs> yeah, get back, bruh. You guys ain't nothing. Let's go, bruh. 15 hit combo. Let's go. Kill him, Al. Oh, I meant to freaking do the spear one. Like that. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, so she is scared to death right now, but we are going to save this for next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.